So, we're at Amos 2018. We have Robert filming us. Thank you, Robert. We're broadcasting this. With me, I'm Bill Borsari. With me is Trevor Dickinson. Dr. Evil. Dr. Evil with the uh, Emmy Bear or, or Boeing Bear. <laughs> and then we have in the middle of us, trapped, Aaron uh, Smith yes. from Amigo on the Lake. Um, what I wanted to do is to, uh, for the folks that are listening, and, and this will, of course, be saved on YouTube. This will go into your criminal record, so be careful what you say, uh, was to have a chat. Fantastic. Because we don't get an opportunity to do that in such a way to share that with people who aren't here. No. And this is also on purpose, because we want people to come here. Be, uh, fix your microphone a little bit, Trevor. It's, it's down a little bit. There you go. Yeah, okay, how's that? Good. Yeah, good. Okay. So, um, uh, we really do want people to come here, but at the same time, we recognize not everyone can. So, this is to help people online and uh, understand what you guys are doing, wh what we're trying to achieve, and to uh, promote products. So, um, what I want to do is to start by saying, how did you two meet? <laughs> who, who, which one you, of us You go to? first, because you must have contacted me. Actually, I, actually, I didn't. Oh. Um, then I must have contacted you. We, <laughs> no, well, at, at one point we, we, let me start with the, the beginning, <laughs> so we don't have to noodle this out. Yeah. Time. Um, you want me to go into the history of like a starting Amiga in the Lake, and uh, if that's necessary? Well, it's 224, the show closes at 5. So, so yeah. That's probably more lead time than I need. <laughs> but, well, there were multiple reasons that, that, mm -hmm. uh, that my business partner, Jeff Yoder, and I just started, decided to start Amiga and Lake. And uh, it, it, Trevor was an inspiration for me. But previous to seeing uh, what he was doing, um, I've always been interested in the Amiga. And I bought a Macintosh, the last... Macintosh Classic 2, the last Macintosh that they made that was actually black and white, not um, literally black and white. But I still found myself buying Amiga magazines. I never owned one, but I was a Commodore guy, and that was the team that I rooted for, and it was fascinating technology. So here I'm looking at these magazines with the names of programs that are another world because the names are different than programs on the Mac. The, many, many of the software companies were unheard of on the Mac, and it was, it was a, a different world. Chip RAM, fast RAM, these things that didn't exist. And then the Macintosh is like its own world. And it, it, it was interesting, but I went in that direction. So I always had that interest. And every once in a while, I would check about Amigo West and see what was going on. And then I read Brian Bagno's book, Commodore, a Company on the mm -hmm. Edge. And I, I knew in the back of my mind that this was going to be a fun, a fun ride. And I, I suppressed what I knew was coming next. And I just held off on that passion and excitement that was building until I got to that point. One surprise, Commodore made calculators. Yes, uh, that a lot was, of them are here. Uh, yeah, a lot <laughs> of them were here. His that was a little bit before my my time you know, as far as age group goes. I'm like, what? They made, they made calculators? Needless to say, I have every calculator that they made except for three because the gentleman's here ha has 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 two that I don't have, and one of them is one I didn't know, so now I, now there's three that I, that I have to get, <laughs> which I'm not going to. It's yeah. That's Why I did that is, is nonsense, yeah. but it's like, all oh, these calculators, so why do you have these calculators? Trevor's smiling, because he probably has them all. Yeah. <laughs> My first scientific calculator was a Commodore, and it broke off in four weeks use. Yeah, and that, that was the end for you, huh? <laughs> you were going to pick, pick up later. Little so did you know, all those years later, you'd make your own calculator. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so at that point, I, uh, well, I got to the Commodore 64, which is a computer that I started on. You know, having an allowance as a kid, um, my dad made this deal with me that uh, I'm going to go half on a Commodore 64. So I took my allowance money, and, uh, and he, you know, bucked up the other half. And that was the real start of my interest in technology. And... I, I dabbled with the 128, and I, just, for whatever reason, which really looking back was a really unfortunate thing, I just drifted away from the, the computer. It wasn't that I wasn't interested, I drifted away. Girls. And meeting Jeff, actually, was what really, like, in, got me excited about uh, about computers yeah. again. And, and then I'm like, okay, I need a computer. I want an Amiga. I didn't know anyone that had an Amiga. I would go to the, the place in Syracuse, New York, called Industrial Color Labs, by the way. And I would look at them and be like, oh, my God, this is amazing. And I got a Mac. So when the book got to the Amiga, I'm like, excitement, excitement. So I bought my first Amiga in 2013, an Amiga 1000. And I had the monitor with it. I plugged her in. Excitement was building. 
I turned it on, and the screen came up to say to put the put the workbench or the, the start desk in. I'm like, oh, it, it works. I shut it off and put it away. I got that out of the way now. Um, I'm going to play with that later. I'm excited. And I bought a whole bunch of other classic Amigas and didn't use them because I was going to play with them later. But then I, I was interested with, in the future. And uh, the Amiga X1000 that, that Trevor produced, I bought it. And that is the first Amiga that I really interacted with. That's the first Amiga I actually used. And a combination of the excitement that that brought to me and the excitement that I saw this, this gentleman making about, you know, very passionate about the Amiga. And he also backed a lot of this stuff. So the passion was backed up by action. And that really spoke to me. And so I went through this period where I was kind of waiting for someone else to do what I thought was obvious. So someone's going to start a, a, a new Amiga place to sell classic stuff and new gen stuff here in the States and it didn't happen and I finally I finally said well I, I'm doing this so out of the blue I just contacted uh, a Eon and bought boards and interestingly enough it was October 8 2016 Trevor announced that the X5000 was available now of course I knew that because I was on board at that point I had a stack of motherboards I had a bunch of stuff ready my fingers on the button the second he said the X5000 available boom the store went on, went live, and that was like two years and eight, eight or nine days ago now. Wow, the time flies. Yeah. So I didn't mm -hmm. talk to Trevor until I don't remember when. I, I really actually don't remember. But we started talking, but Probably. he didn't have anything to do with me. I just rose mm -hmm. up yeah. on, on my own. Well, well, he did. He did because it sounds like the catalyst. The jump started you again mm -hmm. was the X1000. Oh yes, it was. Absolutely, there's no Which question Which is exactly about that. what you wanted to do. Which is exactly what I wanted. So you can yeah. retire. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> well, actually, we, uh, you're not allowed to retire. Actually, <laughs> kidding. Totally uh, I kidding. I have to admit it. I've reached that age. I'm now officially. Uh, what do you call them in the U.S.? Pensioners. Oh well, we call them old age pensioners, but yes. they're, they're called up. They call something else here. Oh, I don't. I'm a long way. Entitled. Oh, sorry. Um. Uh, Pale, male, and stale. Uh, <laughs> yeah. But as you can see, I'm crazy. I'm not pale, male, yeah. and stale. Yeah. So I'm expecting you next year to, like, like prick your finger and bleed red and white. <laughs> like, let's see that. <laughs> yeah, that would be good. Yeah. Take, take a look at some magic tricks. Yeah, 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 maybe yeah, you actually you can, can do that. <laughs> that would be funny. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So, so I, I was thinking when we were talking here, um, the X1000 re-energized brought back that idea yeah. and it, it snowballed from there and here you are. Right? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So, so you, as purveyors of this next generation technology, what percentage of your users that you're interacting with are like net new Amiga users? Like that this is their first Amiga. I know it's high, but what would you ballpark as the percent? Well, fortunately, I don't have to ballpark um, based on our quantitative data. I can tell you that 24, unless I'm forgetting. <laughs> it was about 25 percent. Yeah, it's 24.6. Last night, y yesterday was much. Would have been much more crisp. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yesterday would have been crisper. <laughs> as a yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I got you that out of the way. Yeah. yeah, and of course I had it on yeah. the slide. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it is. It is 24.6 percent. Yeah, tw uh, roughly. Um, up, yeah, up, up at. Uh, We've never times, had 25 percent. A, a, a next generation Amiga, a classic Amiga. Or haven't used an Amiga before. Absolutely, and and, and of course, 25 percent. Every customer that makes a purchase on Amiga and Lake for an X5000 and, and other products too, but absolutely with the X5000, I talk to them at length. Every customer, mm -hmm. and I ask them a series of questions, and you know, yeah. well, what, what, you've never owned an Amiga? No, no. Well, what got you interested? I'm, I'm, what I'm made you make a decision? Because you're providing counseling. <laughs> <laughs> Well, you're looking at it the opposite way. I'm looking at it as opportunity. Opportunity is <laughs> counseling, but somewhere in there's a somewhere happy in the medium, middle, right? yeah. Well, no, but this is actually very important because it's stunning. It, it's well, it's as as much as we would like it to be for everyone, we're not ready for everyone yet. No. Right. And if somebody is expecting the same experience they might get from a Chromebook, where they turn it on and everything they can do on the keyboard. Or 95% works. Yeah. You know, we have our challenges today. We had troubles with the, the demonstration. What's because interesting about that is in, in these extended conversations that I've had, and of course I'm particularly interested in people that made this decision and have never owned an Amiga, because I made that decision, and I would ask myself, in all seriousness, why did I do that? And, and I would kind of mumble, well, I, I just... Uh, I didn't really have what I thought was a... And that didn't say well, uh, I didn't have a cohesive I, answer. I can tell you why. 
Okay. Well, you know why, because we've talked about this yeah. for hours. But I'm just thinking about it. <laughs> I started collecting calculators. Ooh. And I started collecting classic Amigas. Ooh. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But this Join is, the club. Yeah, I know. <laughs> but fortunately, this isn't... I mean, those are like hobbyist things. This is not a hobby. Yeah, yeah of course not. Right. Um, but, yeah, it, it, it's interesting because when I ask these people, and these are people that are, have made a purchase because a purchase comes through the store and their phone number, and, and uh, I, uh, I, I call let, them. Let me, let me modify what you just said. A significant purchase. This is not oh, a, yes. a $75 no. tablet at Rite Aid. Well, what I said yesterday <laughs> this is... is a, this is money for a lot yeah. of people. This is big money. Well, what I said yesterday is, I mean, in all honesty, you ask yourselves, for people that, of course, I refer to them as normal people, just in the average Joe, they use a computer for utility, to, to, to pay, to take care of their bank account, right. to do email. They don't necessarily have to have a technology bent. They're using it as utility, and that's okay because that's what they're for. Mm -hmm. Of those people, how many of you know even one person that, that has spent $2,000 in their lifetime on a computer? And everyone said no. So yeah. what is it that makes someone spend $2,000 on a computer that they've never owned? And the interesting thing that I wanted to, to say is I talked to them after they actually made the purchase. So this is my first interaction with them, and I'm amazed that they already know that there isn't, there isn't the, the, the breadth of software on Windows and Linux. They know that it's small and it's growing. They have already know that, and despite that, they've made this purchase. It's incredible. It's, it's a incredible. really interesting study in psychology. It is. It well, is. it just shows you that, that people all don't march the same drum. They don't all to follow the crowd, and, and, yes. they, and they want to follow their own path, and why not? Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. absolutely, mm -hmm. absolutely. I mean, it's... Uh, it'd, be, it'd be nice if the party was a little smoother. Well, then what fun would it be? Yeah. Well, what were we talking about? Uh, yeah, I agree. You, I would like a smoother path. I'm feeling very tired today. Somebody kept me up very late last night. They should remain nameless, LD. <laughs> 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 we did have uh, a lot of fun last. We had a great. A lot of fun. That's one thing great about Amy West is you do have fun. Yeah. And and you can actually talk to people, people you may have disagreements with, or you know had a spat with online or whatever. You come face to face, and eventually you start to see eye to eye. And, right. Yeah. And, the, the, you know, the, the and this is my first, and mm -hmm. I can mm -hmm. I can corroborate everything he's saying. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, as we look at, as we look out at the show, right? And there's not mm -hmm. there's not three thousand people here. No. But but we have you know. A solid 50, maybe 55, 60, whatever it is, 40, whatever. We have a good group of people. Everyone is engaged in the conversation. Everyone is having fun. People are talking to each other, learning more, discovering new things. What I'm excited about this year's show versus shows we've had in the past is there's a resurgence in saving the old uh, classic systems. Battery damage has, has wiped out you know, hundreds of thousands of big box Amigas, mm -hmm. and those are now, for the most part, Savable. The 4000s, the 1200s, uh, the, the 3640 boards, but it's that and they've been extended. So yeah. Yeah. not only do we have the, the OS 4 component, which is great, we see a lot of energy coming back in the, in the uh, classic And the other next gen, I mean, air are some more for us. Right. Know, I mean, they are underrepresented. Yeah, I would like to are. see more representation well, we had a, a, and more people. Yeah. But, but we have one person with it in the corner. And that, it's it's true. too bad that's because true. I think oh yeah it's an it's a very interesting system and I, there's no reason why it can't be represented. Mm -hmm. Take all of the history away. A lot of software developers are building for both platforms. They are very yeah. similar from an API yeah. perspective. Well, yeah. as you know, in, in in Aon with some of our hardware, you know, we have drivers and, and firmware, you know, developed, created by Morpheus. Yeah. People who regard as more for more for developers. I see them as Amiga developers. Right. Yeah. Because that's what they do. Right. That's where they've come from. Right. You know, I'm, not everyone agrees with me. Fair enough. Uh, you know, but that's my opinion. So I maybe you need to bleed blue <laughs> with your red, white, and shirt. Maybe that's what it is. Yeah, that'd be fine. <laughs> I, I did bring a Morpheus T-shirt with me, and I, I was going to wear it today, but I forgot, so I put this on. Because <laughs> yeah. I thought this is more discreet. <laughs> you know, I blend in a bit more with this this T-shirt. Subtle. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Just keep don't exactly. keep out of the radar. Yeah. I can tell you one, one thing that, that really has struck me. Um, of course, I had some, uh, some expectations that what it was going to be like, and, and all of those are true. But the one thing, and, and it, I've really been thinking about this quite a bit the last two days, really struck me is, and I'm going to word it uh, the way I see it, the IQ of a, a, con a number of people here is off the charts. Their success, their their depth of knowledge is really, really, really unbelievably impressive to me. Mm -hmm. And some of the, and I won't give 
you know, I won't give give anything away, but some of these people, I'm like, this guy is like, where did this guy come from? <laughs> and and then and in contrast to that, I'm like, he's here, he's here about an amigo. The the, I think that this community has inherited because of the original unbelievable technology mm. that people gravitate to. People in the know that like this stuff, they recognize what this is. And it, it's just amazing. I, I just as I'm, I'm really overwhelmed with the number of people here that are just incredible, mm. incredible at what they do. Um, and that's really encouraging. We have a very disproportionate number of high-level engineers, very successful people in software, in, in engineering, of, in, in all types of fields, together in this little small room and it's yeah. like, wow, these people are here for Amiga. That has really been something well, that really has hit me. Well, that's one of the things that uh, RJ Michael said. He said, you know, it, it always astounds him that the, the product they developed 32 years ago, yeah, that uh, how many people have come up to him and said, thank you. And he said, what for? He said, you, 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 I became a graphics designer because of you. I became, a, you know, a, a video videography because you. You changed my life. Yes. Uh, and uh, he said it was very humbling, and he was actually being very sincere about that. Uh, and you, you look at that people around the room, and you, you say, you know, the background, the intelligence. You know, there's some su actually some super intelligent people in this room. Very. Yeah. Even, yeah. even when they've had a lot of drink, they're still super intelligent. <laughs> yeah. Which is kind of scary because you realise that even when you're sober. They're more intelligent. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's that's true. Yeah, yeah it, I mean, I consider myself a, a sharp guy, a bright guy, and uh, I'm so outclassed here. But I'm not saying that to, to denigrate myself, because quite frankly, it is really exhilarating and exciting to be around these people, and because you can learn all kinds of neat things and, and enrich your experience and your knowledge mm -hmm. and stuff, and that's just really fun. Mm. Yeah, it's fun is what it is. Now, you're probably wondering why I'm sitting with a little. Boeing Teddy on my, on my lap. Before you say anything go about on, that, on, even I am wondering why you're sitting there with that. <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> it's part uh, of his, his giant evil plan. <laughs> yes. Now that he's got the white bear. <laughs> well, somebody knew that, that uh, last year at Amy West, actually during, during the banquet, yes. uh, Saturday night, uh, uh, I, I received the news of the birth of my grandson, uh, Finn, and so he. Because Amy West a little bit early this year, he's not one till about another week week's time, and uh, so obviously I was over the moon about that. Uh, so I'm here. So last night someone uh, presented me with this bear uh, to get to my grandson. Someone. Yeah. <laughs> I, it, you, I. If there's a film of that no, presentation, folks, you need to see it. Yeah, folks, yeah, sure. let me tell you, and I will I will tell you something funny. I was planning on doing this at the beginning of my the keynote that I did yesterday, but then it occurred to me, I, I, I don't want to be seen and caught on video giving a grown adult a stuffed animal. That's so, fair. So I had to go to plan B. Well, we oh, do have the video of it. We, we're going to have, yeah, we, have to post that video. He's not getting, oh, away, he's not getting away with oh, that. Oh, it's got to go to your Facebook. <laughs> many you your blog. many you cell your phones blog. went up, and it's out there on Facebook yeah. already. I'm like, oh, my goodness. Lots of people are filming that. Lots now it's like, well, which one did I not want to be on, uh, uh, out in public? Uh, I, yeah. I give up. you so got to give it up. Anyway, this, you know, I said I'm going to bring my, my grandson up as an amigan, so there, there's a start. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Oh, my, my son. I'm a bit worried he's going to get one bowling ball, but that'll do. That's okay. So my son has the inflated bowling ball. In his room. Oh yeah, <laughs> you're, like, you're starting him off early. It, does it go down frequently? No, the it's fine. It's it's the one I've got. Goes, no, no, so that ball is like <laughs> perfect. Every three weeks, my my ball de deflates. Well, that's too bad. So, oh man, I could I have a mega stories that could go for <coughs> decades. But at the uh, at the Henry the Eighth near the uh, St. Louis Airport, the Amiga Inc. people decided that they were going to do some marketing and brought a 10 foot diameter ball that you inflate with helium now keep in mind you have the st louis airport and you have the hotel and we have this giant tether oh it's, it's so much better so we, we we're, we're on the roof of the hotel right because you know we're making people we do this stuff and we inflate this 10 foot around boing ball which, which, on the roof. Which is, on the roof which of the is red and white. 
White and red? Yeah, white and red? We, yeah, but you know, at the airport, all the danger stuff's red and white. Right, right, right. That, that's good. So we put this thing <laughs> that's, up. That's good. <laughs> yeah. So we put this giant inflating Boeing ball over the, the hotel, and that night, there was, like, really strong winds, so it was, like, in the parking lot attacking cars. <laughs> it, like, it broke off, like, mirrors. Imagine the challenge for the police. That's happening, and yeah. you're looking at it saying, Oh my God! Who, who do we even investigate for that? We do a lot of things that turn out not to be the best idea, <laughs> but we do them anyway and have fun at it. It was, it was a good time. Sorry, I digress. I, I, I'd like to have seen that. That would have been hilarious. Oh, yeah, that would have been yeah, Brian yeah. Dunlop. Uh, I, I have photographs of it somewhere. I actually have them on the machine. I'll show them after. Yeah, I'll show them so after. I'll show you like, yeah, I, I think I have a couple of those with me. So, so, um, look, I, Emmy West. I, I told Jim Collis and like. 2002, we'll be here when you're gone, right? But uh, I think we do our best to carry things forward. Thank you, Trevor, for doing the work that you do. People don't understand, I don't think, how much, like when you started this project, you were not gray. <laughs> well, a little bit ahead, I always help. A little bit. I've got to be honest. Yes, but, but I, I was, I'm sure I was, it didn't I help. I definitely wasn't. I you wasn't, sure didn't look great. I wasn't as gray as that. Yeah. yeah. In reality. Yes. Right? Yeah. yeah. This well, has been a lot you. of work. <laughs> And, and God bless and I'm, your family. I'm much younger than him, by the way. So. And, and bless your family for giving this to you when it's like, uh, yeah, grandson's coming. Now i got to go to California to this really important computer conference. They did give me permission. <laughs> yes, we do have to ask. And, and really, then, that, that was why I gave him yeah. the bear. That was the serious bit. See, look, because I've said that I appreciate uh, yes. Trevor and uh, that he's encouraged me. And I've said that to him in private, and I've said it in front of a small group. But I thought, it's time to, to announce that in public. And that was the serious bit. And yes. then, you know. You know the rest. Yes, yes, yes. And then Aaron, of course, thank you for uh, being at the show, for doing something that I've been trying to get at Emmy West for a very long time, which is Amigas for sale on the show floor. We actually have them. They're mm -hmm. selling. Yes. It's, 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 it's a non-trivial purchase. But yes. People are stepping up and buying them. Yes. Right? I know oh, Trevor yeah. is working diligently with, with his team and you and, and the other vendors to bring us that lower cost system mm -hmm. to get people into this a little bit easier so thank you any parting words before we wrap up the interview well if you can come to Amy west once uh, uh you know it is people around the world it's expensive to, to travel and fly it's worth coming once uh, and you'll have a great time if you come uh it's one thing i like about it and i like from the very first time i came uh, nine years ago was it's everyone's so it's so inclusive doesn't matter what background you're from you know what operating system you like or don't like it doesn't matter <laughs> you come and enjoy it and you just you can agree disagree whatever but it's friendship and when i, I put on my on my my slide for introduction uh, 21 years of fun and friendship it really is i mean it's a great great a great opportunity to come and have fun with other amigas and just celebrate what we what we're here for you know what, what we like yep yeah. over to you Aaron? well really uh mm -hmm. There's a lot of uh, things I could say. This whole thing was uh, mm. a, a first for me. And, mm. uh, of course, we, we had the discussion about, you know, we want to have vendors here that have lots of products to buy. And since I'm, I'm here in the U.S., um, it, logistically, it's, it's much easier for me to, to, to get my stuff here, being in this country, than overseas. So I can, I can tell you, I can assure you that uh, this is going to continue. Good. And hopefully we can be augmented by others that are doing the same. Yep. So hopefully we're bringing things back. Good. Very good. Okay. Well, thank you, gentlemen. I appreciate it. Oh, thank you. Thanks thank you, Bill. Much. Yep. Thank you.